reign over as GPS king? Well, in my opinion, it is. So here we go. Well, who bolt Sagan's going to use it um, in 2018? So it's pretty exciting. Garmin basically had a massive majority. SRAM, um, SRM, sorry, had some, but they were no one really bought them because they were outrageously expensive for what they were. And anyway, Sagan's using the bolt. Now, there's two reasons why the bolt is good. Three reasons, sorry. One, it actually works. It works as a GPS computer. It um, it reads power. It has very good navigation. You use your phone to navigate, which is very nice. So you literally click a destination, sync it with your phone, turn by turn directions, done. It has maps pre-built, not like stupid gun ones where you have to download them off some dodgy website. All right, so that's good. Number two, it's aero. So apparently that's important. Debatable if it is. But number three, you can also um, screw it into your computer, which means it's gets part of the bike weight, so instead of it adding to the weight, now, instead of them having to add more weight, as in like lead bearings, because obviously most of the bikes are under 6.8 kilos, you can just have the bolt. So now we know 100% that, um, what's his name, Peter Sagan and Bora are going to use them. Also, Katusha are going to use them. Uh, it says here, we did sit on Mars Al Canyon Air Road, so I'm pretty sure Katusha are going to be on them. Will anyone else join them? That's the question. I also saw... Um, People Bozzato, uh, with a Willia on the Willia Tri Estina team, he had a Brighton 530. So I think Garmin's reign might be over. People are finally realizing that Garmin's are a bit, not the best. Uh, and the Wahoo is very good. It's very light. I really enjoy it. Scroll down to the comments section and we can see that people, people love them. Um, I mean, some people are saying, well, well, he'd ride anything. But to be honest, for me, it's very important. And this thing is you can do the tiny little screw and it adds the weight, which is great because basically it has to be irremovable. So bottle cages count because they're screwed to the bike, but normally GPS computers don't because they're not screwed to the bike. But obviously with a Wahoo bolt, you can screw it to the bike. So then that means, obviously it's very annoying because you can't take it off the bike without unscrewing it. But it's useful if you're worried about those tiny marginal gains that you can save. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, probably like 50 grams or something. Um, but anyway, what do you think? Do you think Garmin's, Garmin's, Garmin has had it? Has Garmin had it and everyone's going to change to Wahoos or Brightons or whatever else you can get your hands on? I think they will. I think Garmin's reign is over. They might still have like 30-40% in five years time, but I think it's going to divulge. People are going to get bolts, people are going to get Brightons. It's going to be pretty exciting. So uh, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.